Uh, hello, uh, everyone. Uh, welcome to this presentation about uh, how to use the Joomla API in your own website. My name is Peter Martin. I'm from the Netherlands. I will do this presentation in English. Um, you can find me on dba.nl, it's my company, or uh, petermartin.nl. And this presentation, afterwards I will publish it at petermartin.nl, the sheets of this presentation. Um, I'm interested in privacy, security, optimization, Linux Joomla. And uh, this is what I do for my living. I have my own company, a corporation, and uh, also uh, video uh, conferencing stuff. And finally, my volunteer work. You can find stuff over here. Last year, I won something, an award with the best website.com. It's a website about websites. But this presentation is about the Joomla API. And I will start uh, explaining what's an API and why, um, about REST. Uh, then I show you some API tools and how could you could use external APIs in Joomla 4 and how you can use Joomla 4 own API externally. So what's an API? Uh, everybody knows what's an API already or because it's a software interface to communicate with um, library based IPAs like Joomla. Joomla has an API and the API of Joomla, um, like if you want to display the date, you can do it like this, this uh, HTML helper and then uh, date and then you put uh, now because it's you want to date the, this date or of the day and the format how you want to display it. But this is the software API, library based API. I would like to talk in this presentation only about network based APIs. Uh, which you can use like uh, the Google or OpenStreetMap payment gateways or uh, CAPTCHA, HCAPTCHA, ReCAPTCHA, whatever CAPTCHA. And if you uh, want to more, uh, know more about Joomla, you can go to apijoomla.org. But now I will just talk about the network-based APIs. There are two. And first one is uh, SOAP. It's a bit old. Uh, it's used mainly for government and hospitals, etc. Uh, in this presentation, I will only talk about REST, uh, the representational state transfer. So REST has a couple of principles in it. And first of all, uh, it has a uni you need to have a uniform interface, meaning that uh, each resource of your uh, API should have just one logical uh, URI and if you know the approach how to uh, use it for just one resource, the same uh, approach should work for other resources as well. Um, and it should contain everything in this representation. And if I, we will look at Joomla later, but I think that's a bit missing because I don't see everything that you can do uh, with, with states. Um, there's a client server principle, meaning there is no de dependency between the server and the client, there is only dependency on the API. So you can, uh, if you know the API, you can just uh, develop them separately. Um, it should be stateless, meaning just like HTTP, there is no state uh, stored on the server. It's just that the client needs to um, to, to tell uh, the, the application what its state, what it wants to see, etc. And uh, because of that, it also should be cacheable uh, for performance and also scalability. And finally, um, uh, it's a layered system, meaning uh, the client, like maybe you have a on your mobile phone, you have an, um, a client. It communicates with the server, but it, there can be layers in between. And cache is also a layer. And finally, uh, mostly it's XML or JSON, what, what it returns but it could also uh, have exe executable code. Uh, I've never done that, by the way. So uh, the representation of uh, REST resource has data, metadata and hypermedia links that um, uh, give a transition to a next desired state. And uh, the, um, uh, the posting methods are the same as HTTP for REST. So just post, get, put, and delete, uh, patch is also something I've never used before. So API tools, if you want to do, uh, use an API somewhere, um, there are different tools that you could use. 
for instance, you could use a browser. Um, my office is in uh, Nijmegen op a, uh, on the uh, Keizer Karelplein. And if I go to uh, OpenStreetMap with this URL, uh, I will get a map. However, uh, OpenStreetMap also has an API. This is not a real API. Uh, it has an API called Noma Team. That's OpenStreetMap.org. And if I, if I put the same search query in it, it will return uh, JSON uh, with the latitude and longitude. So uh, you could use uh, a browser with, for this kind of stuff because you can uh, look in the headers of, uh, of the HTML headers, uh, HTTP headers. There are also online tools like Regbin. I like this, but then after maybe five, six attempts, I noticed that the free version has only limited requests. So uh, yeah, uh, just to test is nice for a couple of times. What I really like is the CLI. I'm a Linux guy and with the CLI you can um, do a curl, minus V uh, means verbose, uh, means uh, you get all, all this information like uh, the TLS uh, certificates, etc. It, it communicates everything here, but also the um, uh, the JSON that I want. Uh, I use this mainly to test. Um, something if you uh, use this on the command line, uh, you can make it more pretty because this is make here it's make, uh, made more pretty. Uh, oh no, it's it's not. But you can make it more pretty, like you see all the um, uh, the elements of the the JSON uh, string with uh, JSON underscore PP. PP means uh, pretty uh, print. So um, I use a PHP Storm for programming and there is an API tool, uh, I mean a plugin that you can use, um, but I prefer something else and that's Postman. Who uses Postman here? Okay, cool. Uh, you can download it on this URL or on Linux you can just install a snap uh, package but I will uh, continue about Postman later on. So now first about external APIs. Um, there are a couple of examples of external APIs like uh, CAPTCHA, the anti-spam, or uh, if you want to have a latitude or longitude, or maybe uh, the weather, you want to know the weather and, and you can use an external API to retrieve the information from an external server. Of, of course, all the payments that are done in web shops are also using external uh, API, in this case, in this way, um, API gateways. So, uh, anti spam. Uh, in Joomla, we have the reCAPTCHA and the invisible reCAPTCHA. I'm not really fond of uh, Google because of all the privacy stuff. And I uh, made uh, hCAPTCHA, which is just a, a drop in replacement. You can download it here for free. Um, latitude, longitude. Uh, Uteam Pro has a really nice um, custom field called location and if you use it uh, it will change the address into a latitude longitude but it also will store it like that in a custom field so I think uh, they put um, a dot comma between uh, those two and for a project I needed to do a radius search and what I did uh, with this I have made a plugin that um, up on save, it will store uh, the coordinates just in two different fields in the database table. So it's possible to use uh, a radius search then. And I also use that uh, later on in the search of um, when I display the articles. So um, for weather models, you could go to, for instance, openmeteo.com. It has a nice API and you can get all kind of information from it. Um, I can So this is the open uh, meteo. You can just uh, tell what you want and then uh, afterwards uh, it will uh, give the, the URL that you need to use as endpoint. Oh. Uh.
And what I did, um, this is the API, that this is the, um, uh, the latitude longitude. I think it was off of this location, off uh, of my office. I'm not really sure now. Um, but what I did, I just did uh, file get contents and then uh, the URL that I wanted to retrieve. And then I got uh, stuff back. And with JSON decode, I just uh, got uh, the, um, the whole uh, JSON stuff. And here I will print it. It's just a blob of information. But you can uh, retrieve stuff from it and do stuff with it here if you have a module. So, uh, Luna Force API, how, how to use that? There are a couple of things that you have to know when you start with uh, the API in Joomla 4. First of all, uh, the access to use it is only limited to super users at the moment. Meaning, uh, you cannot just create a user, a super user, um, uh, create a token, give the token to someone else and um, uh, change the, the user group from super user to user, then it doesn't work anymore. Uh, it really needs super user, and you don't want to give um, your your token on our, on the sites because it's really yeah dangerous. They have super user access. I also noticed that there is no real filter. I think so. If you retrieve articles from a category, it will show all the articles. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, it shows all the articles, or can you filter it? And I think there is no uh, H of hate OS, meaning uh, RESTful APIs, I, I told you in the beginning, uh, when you have a state, I mean when you have the, the, the data, it will also have uh, links to other states. For instance, um, if you have a bank account and uh, you are maybe uh, looking at, um, at your bank statement, it might have also links to uh, withdrawal, uh, transfer and maybe other stuff, but it, it Joomla doesn't communicate it in the in the API. Oh yeah, uh, if you move a site, regenerate your API token. I think that uh, it cost me maybe an hour <laughs> because I moved the site and it didn't work, and I was looking uh, why it's not working. And when I regenerated API, it worked. So I was looking in the firewall, etc. But yeah, anyway. So in Joomla. What do you mean by moving? Keeping the domain name and changing the host? Or you mean changing the domain name? I installed it locally on my own computer and a local host. And then uh, when some things did not really work well, I was thinking, well, you know what? I use Docker on my system. Maybe it's because of the different ports. Uh, let's move the whole website with Akiba backup just to the internet to some IP address of myself. So it's now uh, living on the internet, and uh, yeah, when I changed the API uh, token on the server, uh, it worked. Because uh, when I was trying stuff, it, I get it, I, I, I got, I think it was forbidden or something like that. So yeah, you have to be careful with this. So uh, you have, the API has a, a lot of endpoints. There's documentation at uh, docs.jumla.org, and documentation. Um, uh, let shows you all the endpoints that you can use. For instance, if you want to use articles, uh, you just go to the endpoint API index.php v1 content articles. If you and, and you get then uh, all the articles. But if you want to have uh, just one article, then you have exactly the same your your URI. Except the last, uh, you, you just put the article ID behind it. And then you get only the article uh, that you want to retrieve. To delete something, you do the same. But then instead of uh, doing a get, you do a delete um, HTTP request. If you want to create an article, you do post request. And uh, you in the header, you have to define uh, the content type, which is application JSON. And also uh, the the data, and the data you specify with minus d, and then between brackets you just put the data in it. And finally, uh, to update uh, an article, you do um, patch minus h, so again a header, application JSON, and then um, you also go to the to the same articles, 
uh, API and then just use the same uh, ID of the article and uh, what you want to, uh, to, to update in it. Sorry, so, can yes? you explain what the dust D does? What does? Dust D parameter at the end of the updates in the last two examples. Yes, um, it's the data, the data that you want to oh, okay. include. It seems a bit redundant, I think. Because the post and the patch uh, means that we, you will send data, no? Yeah. So it doesn't mean something else. Uh, yeah, but maybe uh, if you want to change the order of uh, fields, like if I put the data not at the end, but maybe in the beginning, so CURL, I mean curl, minus D, and then uh, uh, Linux doesn't, doesn't know what kind of type you put into uh -huh, it. Okay, so this is a Linux uh, command. That's the curl, is, curl is, is Linux, yeah, okay. yes. I thought it was part of the API URL. Okay, no, no, it is Linux, but uh, you're right that if you do patch, it's always changing. Yeah. Yeah. So to get a list of articles, you do like uh, curl, then the endpoint, in this case example.com, indexpp, uh, v1 content articles, minus h, and then you have to do something. Because if you just, what you see in the documentation here, they just specify what you have to do, but they didn't tell you here, I mean, they, they say some, somewhere else in the documentation, that you also have to include the token that you have for the API. And that's what you do here. You do in the header, you say authorization, and then bearer, because uh, Joomla uses bearer tokens. And uh, you just put the information there, and the result is uh, a whole list of uh, our, all the articles in the website. And if you do it like this, and now I use the JSON pretty print. And instead of all the articles, I only want to see article number 11. So same URI, 11 uh, minus H, this is everything the same, and JSON uh, PP to make it like this. So this is uh, better readable. Um, you can also, if you have components yourself, you can also expose your component uh, via, via the IPA uh, to, to the external world using a plugin. You need to create a web services plugin. And you can find the information here in the, on the documentation website. So, Postman. By the way, I heard there will be a new documentation website, uh, manual, and uh, I, I looked at it. Doesn't contain a lot of information, but it's really promising. It's for developers. We are waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just one thing, because of the super user thing that you mentioned. Yeah. Um, suppose someone says, "Oh, I, uh, can I access your website articles with uh, the API?" Yes. Here is the token. Yeah, and then delete everything then. The whole web, they can delete everything yeah. in your website. So if somebody Users. just wants to read, because Not some news they want to take on their yeah. own website or system, whatever, actually, as soon as I want some, as I give something, they yeah. have all the lines. Yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah, that's yeah. that's correct. Totally correct. You cannot say, no, no, we, no you I, can't. I think the, there was a picture when Joomla uh, 4 0 was released that uh, there was a public endpoint for everyone. It was working only for the get. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know why. No, no. Uh, I hope not. I think Nicola Gargano did it. Did you like it? No, Nicola Gargano uh, added the CS CSP headers that it would be possible to have um, um, access to the API through the browser. The browser. I think in the alpha version it was a feature like that. If you like in the alpha version, we didn't have authentication, only a uh, username and password. But not in the final version. So let's talk about this later. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem. So uh, the question was: um, so there is no public uh, access to the um, to the API. You need super user access, and then you can do everything. Yeah, that's correct. Um, actually, the documentation of the API uh, mentions something like: okay, uh, we will include a new API in Joomla. Uh, for the moment, we will do only for super users. And in the future, uh, we might also add stuff like ACL stuff in it. 
And if the ACL stuff is in it, then you can also maybe probably do only the GET. But from, for security reasons, they only uh, use uh, the super user at the moment. So, Postman. Um, if you have installed Postman and you open it, you see something like this. And then you have to uh, know which endpoints Joomla uses. So the endpoints, to get the endpoints in, in Joomla, uh, there is a, a, a nice fellow called Alexandre Elise. He's from Martinique and he created a really awesome uh, collection of API um, endpoints, the Joomla 4 API collection. And if you go to his uh, GitHub repository, this is uh, Alexandre Elise. If you go here and you, you scroll down a bit, then oh, uh, if you scroll down a bit, then um, you will see this button, Run in Postman. You can click on it, and what happens is that uh, uh, Postman that's installed on your computer, or maybe if you use it in the in the cloud, you can use it over there. It will fork this repository, and then you can use all the endpoints. And you have to do a couple of things. If you have in, uh, imported this whole collection, you have to go to edit to uh, change some variables. For instance, uh, the base URL. You can set the base URL because the base URL for your website will always be the same. And you have to be careful with that. Uh, I just told you something about changing the token when you move a website. It cost me maybe an hour to find out. Uh, uh, this took me in a half an hour. There is no trailing slash behind uh, your website. Otherwise you have two slashes and then it doesn't work. So uh, that's important. Then you have to do the base path, which is api index.php.v1. And then you have to uh, define an, an authorization API key. That's the, the key that you, the token that you generated in Joomla. And uh, before I do the demo, if you use Docker, like I do, uh, you can have problems with ports. Uh, if you use Postman, <coughs> check the URL and don't use a training slash. If you use, uh, if you have an API and there are problems, always try curl, because curl is awesome. And um, what you also could do, uh, if you use PHP for it, you could use print underscore r and then uh, curl error, and then uh, the uh, string curl is your curl object, and then it will print any error if there is an error, or even uh, curl underscore error number or something to get the error number. And if there are connection errors, you could also try another server. Put it on some other server, because maybe you have an internet provider that blocks some ports, or that has have other things that mess up your uh, API stuff. Oh yeah, and generate regenerate your API token when you move your stuff. So I would like to uh, show you something. So um, first, let me check. It's a bit small, I think. Uh, I don't know how to make it bigger. So um, first, let me let me show you. Postman. Is, uh, can you read it a bit? Or how can I uh, make it bigger? Does anybody know? Zoom in. Yes. Uh, Control plus is. Yeah, okay. So um, I have a couple of servers. I have a local server. I also have a Raspberry Pi, but I don't have it with me now. But this is the one that I want to demonstrate. So um, when you uh, in import the, um, uh, the API uh, collection of uh, Ale uh, Alexandre Elysée, you just have, have all the endpoints here. But then you have to do edit. Um, you have to select the authorization to bear a token, because there are all kinds of authorizations. And if you have done so, then the variables, you have to change the, the base URL, the base path, and the base authentication uh, API key, I mean. So uh, these are the only three things 
and uh, that you say mirror token and here you say authorization API key then um, yeah it should work something else there are here uh, two buttons uh, persist all and um, reset all um, if you change the initial value just uh, do uh, persist all and it will change the this initial also to the current one so uh, yeah it's, I, I find these a bit confusing anyway let's start with um, the website so I have a, a really nice website Uh, this is a, a website uh, of a company called Initech. Uh, if people who know uh, Office Space uh, know what I'm talking about, uh, the movie. And they have a team of people. And all these people uh, are articles. And um, they also have some news, which is also articles. And if I log in into the backend... Okay, uh, ignore this, the 7.3. I still have to update the server. Um, yeah, the front end. So the front end, back end. If you go to um, uh, content uh, categories, you can see I have seven, uh, 10, 11 articles in this website. And when I go to the uh, uh, postman, uh, here I have all the endpoints, and this is the, the content endpoint, and here we have content articles. And in content articles I have um, uh, this one, I have to change it, because I want all the articles, and I do uh, send. What you can see here, oh, what you can see here, is uh, you get the link of uh, this endpoint itself. You get the data, which says articles, um, and then this is ID 11, and I have all the uh, all the articles here. I just browsed in it. This is the last one. So um, if I want to have article, I will go to the front end again. So this is Joomla, and I go to the news, and there we have, for instance, the printer fixed number 11. So what I can do, I can just go to here articles and here I will uh, put 11 and now I will uh, ask for article with oh this is wrong research not found then I will take another article article 1 So uh, here you can see that I have article 1 and article 1 is um, Initech for your software development and it's a small uh, marketing uh, uh, a news, a news uh, item here. So uh, what you can see there are no uh, API endpoints to other things. I mean there is only an, uh, there could only be an, um, uh, the images but there are no entry points like maybe if you go to the, to the website, to the front end, if you are in the article itself, sometimes you have next and previous, and these are kind of uh, uh, status changes. So if you communicate this article via the IPA, I think you should also have the previous and next in it. That's my opinion. I'm not really sure if uh, how other people think about that, but uh, okay. Um, so this is how I get information, but I can also post information. So uh, let's go to, uh, to the Joomla documentation. So I have to go to the endpoint. Um, oh, where's the endpoint of Joomla? Oh yeah. No, I cannot find it, I have to, to look for it. One moment please. Uh, 
This is not what I'm looking for. I'm sorry. Uh, I have it in my presentation. Hold on. Here are endpoints. This one. I was looking for this one. So um, if I want to insert something, I can go to uh, content, articles, and here you have those endpoints like delete, create, and I need create. So I just copy this, I go to a postman, and I take the post one, and in post, I will add something like hey Joomla day. while you're all doing um, and I press I, I first go to uh, the backend of Joomla um, that is mm -hmm. this one I go to uh, my all my articles and I will do send something is wrong I'm not really sure what and if I do like this this is just copied from the from the website. Oh, I, I, it, there was an it was another error that was showing, but I just created uh, hello Joomla day, and also here's an article that's in the documentation of Joomla itself. So you can also see the status is uh, uh, disabled, but you can also publish the state. So, so state equals one. I will show you. My article and if I go back, so this should be uh, published immediately. No, oh, it's not even <laughs> it's not even there. So this is a real demo now. Uh, anyway, um, what I also wanted to show, uh, do we have still time? What I also wanted to show is um, I created a small um, small uh, file called uh, create articles. And when I was trying this, um, there was an error. So I will just try it again. No. I have to know the category first so I go back and if I go to um, categories I have category news which is 14 so here I will put 14 so um, how can I increase this text does anybody know how to do that in uh, PHP storm That's a presentation mode. I think under file, file. I cannot see it. Is it readable or is it uh, from the end? No. Almost. Almost. Okay. So um, let me explain. I first have here uh, the URL that I want to, the endpoint. Then I have my uh, bearer token. Then I have a couple of names uh, that I want to uh, insert in, a, in, a, in the articles. Then I have the headers that I want to communicate, and the headers will have the content type, application JSON, but also the authorization uh, bearer token. Then I do um, uh, curl init to initialize it, and then I uh, give a couple of um, uh, curl um, options. Then I will loop through the names that I have, and I will try to, uh, to update uh, the, the articles with it <coughs> and uh, in my uh, uh, data I have the names and I have also uh, I created an alias otherwise you get errors that, that uh, some things go wrong so um, 
let's go back to the particles and now I will go to um, to the file and it's called create articles and now I'm creating articles yeah okay Harald uh, integer and string I was putting uh, information in the string and therefore uh, I got all those errors so uh, I just uh, created another hello another hello someone else hello Peter so uh, yeah this is how uh, you could fill your whole website with uh, new articles just using the API and a, and a small script and this is just PHP I even don't use Joomla here it's just PHP plain PHP yes can we use the HTTP client of Joomla for this work the HTTP client the of Joomla HTTP client yes the API Library API. I think so. You mean that you, so you want, want to include the framework of Joomla and then uh, do the API? Yes, in, in case we work with Joomla sites. With Joomla sites. Can we do it with, uh, for Joomla? I think so. I see two people. Uh, 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 the question uh, was I think so as well. the question was uh, Joomla has uh, HTTP uh, uh, stuff in the library, and if you yeah. could use it also instead of a script like this. And uh, the answer of to experts here is a uh, yes. Yes, I think it's uh, much simpler. Okay, yeah. I want to do diff also difficult. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> and uh, thanks for suggesting this because now I have to look up uh, that also. Yeah. Other questions? Where can we find such examples of uh, uh, PHP files to create articles, read articles? In the past, I've, I've seen several presentations or explanations, documentation about API, but actually, at my personal level, if I have such an example, I can start using it. But Postman, I mean, I don't need Postman when you debug, yes, but uh, if I have such an example, like I say to a customer, look, if you want to take the news of your website to publish them on your intranet, whatever, uh, here is an example of code, you adapt it, and that's it. So uh, the question is, uh, where can we find this kind of example that work? Um, actually, uh, I had to go to all kinds of places on the internet, all kinds of obscure places like Stack Overflow. Um, but in Postman, you can export it from there. There's an option you can get the PHP C, C URL call and all the possibilities, and then you can copy it from there and use it. Okay, Kiki has a nice, um, a nice suggestion uh, to in, in Postmail when, when you uh, have everything that you can uh, export PHP for it. I didn't know that, so you it's could have said you could. A button over in the right corner, and there you can get it uh, for PHP or I think you have to wait for so somebody to create all these examples. Uh, well, actually, uh, that's what uh, uh, Alexandre Elise has done for the endpoints. And I, I, I will, this will be on the internet. On, I mean, uh, I will post it on probably on GIST or something. Um, but maybe this should also be in the manual. This was my home, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We are waiting for you. Uh, yeah, I have, no, I have no account on the manual. <laughs> I don't want to. You could submit it by API token. Yeah, can I have a beer token? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, but it's on GitHub, so I have to do everything. Uh, I have to create pull requests on GitHub for this. That's no problem. If okay. you want, you can direct, uh, get direct from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I trust you. Okay. Are you sure? Just record it. So at least today we trust you, right? Any other questions? Question to the audience, maybe. Uh, who has already used in real life the Joomla 4 API? And wh what is the use case? And Because uh, it can also give inspiration to know, oh, yes, that's an interesting use case. I could also yeah. propose it to people. I, I did not use this, but I used a slim framework in the past, uh, which was uh, coupled with, with a Joomla website. And I did it to, um, to have an uh, attendance uh, um, scheduler of the people in my co-working space that I now have an office but then I, had, I was in a co-working space and I wanted to see who was there so uh, I created a sort of phone book app just for internal use 
and uh, to know who was there, I created um, uh, on the Raspberry Pi uh, a script that used the uh, Slim framework, which it was in the Joomla, um, uh, to send all the um, uh, addresses, I mean back addresses of the people who were there in the network. And uh, I had uh, another uh, person using uh, an app on the phone that you could connect to the, to the website to see all the people, all the phone numbers, but also if they were there or not. And that was my use case with the API. You cannot do this anymore because MAC addresses now change uh, all the time because of privacy. Uh, use it for, uh, um, this, uh, for well, I don't know the right word for uh, uh, putting, uh, putting uh, news articles from one page uh, from a company to all the other pages from this company. So they have only to write it in one backend and can use it in all, all the other pages. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Thank you for your suggestion. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> and you also for the HTTP. Uh, oh, thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the uh, editor stuff. Okay, okay. And you already have access. Oh. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Control A, co copy. I don't know if in Zoomla 5 there will be any change regarding the. More public access to the API endpoint. endpoint. If someone writes this. <laughs> if someone accepts it. <laughs> so the main reason why it's not uh, publicly available is because we want to see if it gets used and people that are using it may find problems with it, with the, with the rights. And since now people are getting started, I also wrote the component that's using the API heavily. Um, I think at some point we should open it yes. maybe with Force 3 or 5.0. But yeah. You know, yes. It's like the egg did the chicken or the chicken did yeah. the yeah. Yeah. You know, everyone should do once they started to proceed. Yeah, that's the reason why we started to only have super users uh, have access to it. Maybe, maybe it's, a, it's a good idea to collect use cases to, to show the people what you can do with it. Uh, this is a technical approach, I like that, but uh, people need to understand uh, how can this benefit me. So, so uh, uh, an index of possible use cases would probably help. Yes. And now with the headless CMS is that getting space and market share? Continuously, yep. Maybe we have to think of it. Oh yeah, I, I think one thing I did not show you. So um, this is if I put information in the database, but uh, I showed you that I have. Uh, where is it? Um, where's the website? Oh yeah, here it is. So I have this team members, and I also have news. And uh, there were 11 articles, I think. So if I go to uh, this page and I go to display. So these are all the articles that are in the website. This is just my PHP script. Uh, this is really even smaller than the, the one to post stuff. And I just uh, yeah, show the information here. The information that I want, the naming, the meaning, the, the image, the date, and uh, the name of the person, or the article, I mean. But there is also, um, oh yeah, so something else I forgot to tell you, but I will show you that in the, in the script here. Um, display articles. So here I have uh, a small script to uh, display uh, the articles from the Initech website. But what I do here, I test if the state of the article equals 1. If, the, if it equals 1. If I don't do that, so... I just disabled it, I think. Uh, no. Control. So I disable it. If I do it, do it now again, there is an extra article. Oh. Oh, and I, did, I made a mistake. Oh yeah, I just. So now there's an extra. Huh? I'm 
Blue Moon. Just delete the block and delete. Yeah, but uh, if, yeah, delete. I don't know why, but there is also, there's also here Initech for your software development and it's unpublished. So it puts out everything, even unpublished things. So I, is it possible to uh, filter on state as well? I mean, I have the endpoint articles, but can I put tokens behind it? Like there question mark, does not work? There are filters. Uh, uh, internally, uh, Joomla only uh, simply calls the model. Uh, model, the model. <laughs> uh, we can normally set the same filters we have in the, in the background if I'm not wrong. Okay. I think the state can do that model. Could be, yes. Example like shown correctness. So, if I put behind the URL like in the start the, the, the synthesis is this strange. It's not so intuitive. Oh, hold on. Uh, I have to. For, for com content, you can exact, uh, you can fit the for state, category, author, uh, search, and language. Can you show something? Yeah, one, 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 hold on, please. I, I want to, to see one thing. Uh, published oh the filter published that's the that's the the name that I need so uh, if I do like uh, let it back so now uh, I, don't, I don't know why it gives error when I when I remove it. Anyway, so if I put the um, behind the URL, so what happens now? Okay, if I put behind the URL filters published uh, uh, equals one. In the example, I see mm. there is question mark Twitter in brackets. Would you like to see? Yeah. Okay. So it's, if it's valid because it's from 2020. Filter state. Oh, I yeah, filled the published. Yeah, but it's in the backend. It says, says published. If I it's, if I it's go the v v it's state. no, it's state. Yeah, yeah. Filter and direct state and uh, etc. No, it doesn't work. But uh, I have to, to look uh, for it. I think that we didn't put a question mark at the end of the articles. Oh, is that it? You're right. So this is state is equals one, and if I state uh, equals uh, a minus uh, one, I know the zero. I mean, then it should have only one article. All the other place. To, oh, and uh, the other one that I just added to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. I learned another thing with filters now. Mm. So you can add filters as well. <laughs> <laughs> if, even That's the cat really even the <laughs> even the category ID. The and I, I said I, I started with my criticism, like yeah, it gives all the articles, but you can just also do cat ID uh, equals your cat ID, and then it will only do those. Have other people here other things to learn to me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you uh, for your attention. Thank you.